Today, I'm going to show you how to build a complete job matching SaaS application using Lovable's brand new MCP integration with NA10. And when I say complete, I mean front end, back end, AI processing, the whole thing. But at the end of this video, you'll have an app where users can sign up, upload their resume, and automatically receive personalized job matches powered by AI. And the best part, we're going to build this without writing traditional back end code. Let me show you what we're building first, and then we'll break down exactly how to create it for yourself. All right, so here's the finished application, clean professional interface. Let's walk through the user journey. A new user lands on this page. They click get started. They're taken to the login screen and if they haven't signed up, they can do that. After that, they log in and they're taken to an upload screen. So let me upload a sample resume. Once they upload, watch what happens. The file gets sent to our NA10 workflow. The AI analyzes the resume, extracts skills and experience. It matches against job listings using Firecrawl. And within minutes, we get a personalized job recommendations. You can see how each job shows the title, company, match percentage, and why it's a good fit based on the resume. This is all happening automatically through our NA10 workflow. Before we build this, let me show you the big picture of how this all fits together. On the left-hand side is our lovable front end with the user interface. In the center is the MCP protocol. That is the magic bridge that handles all the communication between the front end and the back end. And on the right side, our NA10 backend with a webhook that receives requests, does all the AI processing, web scraping, and emailing. So when a user uploads a resume in the front end, it sends a request through MCP, which then forwards it to the NA10 webhook, processes the workflow, and sends the result to the email service. Before we do a node by node walkthrough, let me show you the infrastructure set up with Hostinger, who I'm proud to be partnering with. I chose them because their platform is specifically suited for AI automation projects like this. Let me show you their KVM2 plan. This is exactly what I'm using. For the price, you get dedicated resources and full root access. But the real game changer, by self-hosting, you can run unlimited AI agents and unlimited executions. No monthly limits, no usage caps. What I love about the setup is the one-click NA10 installation with Q mode enabled. Plus, you get free weekly backups automatically. Setting this up is super straightforward. I'll just add the KVM2 plan into the cart. And here's the best part. I've got an exclusive discount for you. Just use Derek and the coupon code and get additional 10% savings on yearly plans. Here's how easy it is to access NADN after purchase. We'll select the free malware scanner, create a root password, continue, finish setup. After a few moments, it's building your NADN machine. Now your NA10 machine is ready, we're going to manage the VPS, go to our dashboard, and then select Manage App. And there you go, your NA10 instance is ready. Now, all right, let's build the front end first. So I am in the lovable.dev website, and I'm going to go to the integrations. So in the integrations, I can go to Manage Integrations, and there's uh, two services that I'm going to need to connect. So the first one is Superbase. So Superbase allows us to integrate user authentication, uh, add data storage and backend capabilities. So this is where we're going to need to store the uh, user ID as well as user authentication. So I go into superbase.com to create my account. And after I do that, I can go manage connections and link the two. After I'm linked it, I'm able to look into here and then create a new project. And this will allow me to store what I need to store for the user and user authentication. The next thing I'm going to do is go to integrations gain and manage integration. And this is the new uh, integration feature from Lovable and NA10. So I can do setup. And from here, I can connect. Now, when I connect, I can go to my NA10 instance and copy the server URL and go ahead and add it into here. So this will then give me uh, a authentication screen. Uh, and after you authenticate, then you have direct access now to your NA10 instance. All right, now that I have these two integrations configured, I'm going to first ask what workflows do I have access to in my NA10 instance? All right, so I'll go ahead and ask it. So now I'm gonna start a new project and it's going to look at the integration that we've built and linked just now. All right, so now it's noticed the workflow that I have in my NA10 instance and I'm gonna say, Yes, to allow it to search for the workflow. All right, I have uh, two workflows in this instance here. 
All right, and we'll, we'll be using this one, the automated uh, job matcher P2 webhook we'll talk about later. And then uh, now I'm gonna use my prompt to go ahead and ask it to start building our project. So I'll go ahead and say here, build a workflow matching interface where users can upload the resumes and trigger the NA10 workflow to find matching jobs from Indeed. I want to be able to turn this into a microsoft where users can try five for free and then buy a subscription. All right, so I'll do that. All right, so it's going to uh, say that it needs a backend. So I'll just go ahead and allow it to do that. All right, so this is where it's gonna ask me for my Stripe key. All right, to get the Stripe key, I sign up for a Stripe account and I go to the API key section and then I go and create a restricted key. And this key will allow me to get the token to enter into Lovable. So I'll go ahead and enter it. All right, it's asking me to set up the database schema for user management, usage, tracking, and subscriptions. So I'll just allow it to do that. So I'll allow it to modify the database. All right, it suggested a price, so I'll just go ahead and allow it to do that. So it's now creating the design system and UI components. Now it's creating the functions for subscription management and job matching. All right, so now it's created the first version of it. All right, so let's test this out. So it's uh, got Job Match Pro. It's got a nice pricing page that has free as well as pro. It has tells you how it works and you can go ahead and get started. So I can get started here. I'll go sign up for an account. All right, I'm in the dashboard. I'll upload a resume and start job matching. So it's called my NH10 backend saying job started and we're analyzing your resume and finding matches. Results will be emailed to you. And on the NA10 side, it's executed the backend and created an email. All right, now let's look at the NA10 backend that does the automatic job matcher functionality. So we covered this in a previous uh, video, but I'll just give a fly through just to give you a recap of this and how this fits into uh, the overall application with the front end. So there's five parts to this workflow. There's uh, a resume processing where uh, a email and uh, the resume is passed in through this web hook trigger. It gets processed uh, from a PDF to text. And then we extract all the details from this resume so that we can use it to do scraping. So we're using the firecrawl scraper to uh, take the information that we collect from uh, this uh, resume and we uh, go to indeed.com and we find um, job matches from here. And then we go ahead and scrape it. And then we go to the next st stage here, which is the batch scraping. So in this process, we uh, get all the uh, indeed.com URLs that match the criteria for this resume. And then we do a batch scrape and we format that data. And then we split uh, all the results into uh, the, the parallel processing that's going on here. And then for each of the jobs, we uh, have an AI agent that do, does the uh, scoring. And then it goes into a merge node. Uh, we sort it so that uh, it's only 
uh, matches of uh, 50% and above get uh, passed through this filter. And then we do some formatting and send this out. So if you want to go into more detail, uh, I can just give you a little bit more flavor on how to create the flows here in terms of the AI agent. So in this AI agent, uh, we ask it to analyze the resume and generate job search descriptions. So we pass in the resume text and we ask it to uh, provide three job titles to search for, format keyword as a simple list uh, delimited by commerce without uh, new lines. And then we include one location in the output, which is where to search. And then we set up the URLs. So this gives us uh, five URLs to search. And in here is a uh, fire crawl node that allows us to take the URLs and do a batch search. And that batch search gets uh, straight for all the links for uh, the specific uh, uh, search. And then we go ahead and do a uh, batch, uh, a, a uh, batch scrape of all the uh, of all the links. So this uh, scrapes all the information here, and then we go ahead and process this. So that's the fly through. There's more information in a previous uh, video that I, I'll link, and then at the end we send the email. Now that we've done a walkthrough on the general logic of the back end. I want to show you exactly the MCP enablement uh, that allows the connectivity between Lovable and NA10. So if I select the top right uh, three, uh, three dots here, I go to settings, I can turn on available in MCP. So this is new, so I can select MCP. So what this will do is make this workflow available for the uh, instance level MCP. So I'll go into here settings and inside MCP access, I'm going to have this uh, this box here so I can enable or disable that. So if I enable that, then it'll show me how to connect. So this URL you saw earlier in the video, there is uh, a URL here that I can copy and connect that to Lovable. And so Lovable will have access to this MCP instance. And inside there, I will have uh, the uh, different uh, workflows that I've enabled. So then Lovable ha will have access to uh, everything that it sees in here. And that's it. You just saw how to build a complete SaaS application using Lovable and Anytens MCP integration. Front-end, back-end, AI processing, all working together. If you want to dive deeper into building AI automations like this, uh, check out my community, AI Automation Engineering over at school. Links in, in the description. We've got a whole library of workflows, templates, and a community of builders helping each other out.